What's up, Atlanta? Okay, uh, it's a little gloomy today, so not that much sun, but the light is hitting me just right. All right, I'm in Atlanta today. Had to do a shoot this week, and I was like, you know what, while I'm here, I might as well keep looking for some good food. Can't find it, no way. Not in Atlanta, it's very difficult. If you live in Atlanta, like I have for the last nine years, then you would understand my plight, but um, I'm on my way to a spot that's supposed to be good. Um, a buddy of mine told me to come check it out, so here I am. Actually, a buddy, no, my warehouse manager, Tammy, told me to come check it out. So I'm walking into Southern National to see what it gives, all right? So she's a chef. She recommended it. That means it's got to be halfway decent, all right? Come on, people. Let's go check out Southern National. It's right there and see how good it is. Glad I got my jacket on. It's a little chilly in here in Southern National. Doesn't feel like the South. All right. Cocktail, first stop. The Southern National, $16. Bourbon, whiskey, vermouth, and bitters. There's a Prado with uh, tequila, lime, egg white, pass that up. A Bras Coupe, Coupe, I don't know. Mezcal, lime, honey, dry Spanish cider. There's a Punch Royale that has champagne, a coconut Negroni, and an aromatic old fashioned. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, myself. My name's Kaylee, I'll be taking care of you okay. here. May I get you started off with some That's fine. Water. Yeah, well, it's tap water okay? Or yeah, tap bottle is fine. Or sparkly? Right. Get you started here. Thank you. Got the you. cocktail open. I right do. There. Yeah, I'm gonna go for, uh, let's try the Punch Royal. Okay, we'll try that. Let's do it. Okay. Take a peek over the uh, food menu as well. In addition to all of the main plates you see here, we also have a special tonight. What is it? Um, short rib and grits. Okay. It's going to be a five ounce portion of short rib for you. Um, the grits are going to be made with an apple puree and a five spice apple puree. So you have a nice little zing there. And then we'll top it with some Russell sprout kimchi we made in house. And then a red wine dip. Sounds good. Perfect. All right. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go over the menu. Food-wise, let's see what they got. So Nat Pimento Cheese. Uh, it comes with Pine Street Summer Sausage, homemade bacon jam, pickled veggies, apple butter, and house crackers. Do you know why it's called Summer Sausage? I happen to be very curious one day. Why is it called Summer Sausage? It's called Summer Sausage because there's no refrigeration, right? So it's preserved so that the sausage could literally stay out in the summer and you don't have to worry about it spoiling, right? But I'm not with the preserved meat situation. This is something about like jerkies. You just thought you never see me eat it. Anything hot dogish, you know how you belch and you get that like, you know what I'm talking about, Polish hot dog. Y'all know what's going on. You from Chicago, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't like that, so I stopped eating it. And it's so unpredictable. I remember one time, the last time it happened, I was in a car with my friend, Michael, he was driving, and Tanisha was in the back seat. Girl, when I tell you, I had to belch, and you can't hold it in. So like if you at church in a choir stand or something like that, it don't really matter, it's gonna come out. You Thank go. you so much. You're welcome. It's gonna, you yeah, it's gonna be a lot. I just haven't had a chance to look over yeah, it. Yeah, you're fine, take your time, I'll come back around. Perfect, thank you. Did you want us to pull up another table for you? Oh, no, we, have, okay. we might be able to work this okay. out. Yep, thank you. Um, yeah, I was in the car with them. Michael was in the front driving, and baby, I tried to do it, you know, quietly so you really couldn't hear it. And uh, he was like, baby, open a window now. Who is that? I was so embarrassed. Oh, it's not bad. It could be a little sweeter. It's a little on the sour side. Okay, come on, let's get into the food. Pimento cheese, loaded sweet potato with lamb, shea, fennel, red onion, and curry yoga sauce. Mussels and collard greens. Shiitake mushrooms, tomato, bacon, and a baguette. 
harissa roasted carrots and golden beets with baba ganoush pomegranate preserved lemon and crunchy bits house cured salmon and bok choy salad herb cream cheese red onion capers cucumbers tapioca chips and a sesame vinaigrette spring salad is feta cheese, asparagus, pumpernickel croutons, spiced pecans, and pepper du vinaigrette. And bread is jalapeno johnny cake and sheep ham biscuits, steams, cane syrup butter, and peach chutney. That's about the only thing I like. It's gonna be halfway decent. I don't want no lotus you play with, with lamb. I don't want no mussels and collard greens. Hosting a winemaker this evening. So okay. Additions to our regular cocktails. If you want to try any of these, uh, I think you can come over and speak with you if you like. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't want no baba ganoush. That's eggplant with the stuff. House cured salmon. They don't cure it. No. You know how the lady with the issue of blood for all them years. Want to just touch him and his garment to be healed, and she was cured. The fish need to touch his garment and not the chef because it don't be all the way done right. Only thing that look good is the bread. Okay, on the mains, let's see. Mains, they have lamb burger helper, mini rigatoni, smothered lamb, fennel, mozzarella cheese, and Parmesan bake. Lord knows I don't want that. Coffee rubbed grilled pork loin, grits, five spice turnip, sweet potato apple hash with a red wine sauce. Tandoori cauliflower, cashew cream, couscous, mushroom, and spinach, cucumber, and tomato relish. Herb butter broiled redfish, house smoked smothered green beans. No, oh, I'm sorry, they don't say nothing about no house. That's a turkey. Smoked turkey, smothered green beans. Girl, I'm really like I'm in third grade. Field peas and cherry miso sauce. Girl, why is you putting cherry and miso on the fish? Seared cobia creole, shallot and coriander farro, green beans and tomatoes. Berber spiced fried chicken thighs with coconut milk, jalapeno, and mock chu, and a grilled New York strip steak with horseradish, parsnip parade, toasted barley, mushrooms, zucchini squash, and red wine. Sides, collard greens, kung pao vegetables, pan roasted cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts, buffalo Brussels sprouts, and tots. They got the chef. I'm gonna look this chef name up. Who the hell is this chef? Dwayne Nutter. Dwayne. The fuck you been, bro? What's going on here? Oh, chef owner. Oh, that's probably why. Oh, they they together. Chef D Nutter. Oh, let me see. Hold on, he on Instagram, let me see. Oh, that's him back there at the window. He had to pass working. Yeah, bro, what is this? Why she sent me here? I don't know about this here, y'all. This got to be, hopefully it's gonna be outstanding. Oh, he's, he's, just, he's um, what you call it? He's established. Let's hope this food is established, y'all. I don't want nothing this. Let's get the bread. That's gonna be a very quick review. Girl, cause I'm not getting none of this other stuff. The bread. The pork loin, but who wants five spice turnip sweet potato apple hash? Who wants that? Herb butter broiled red fish. Sear Kobe equipped. Girl, I'm gonna order this stuff and I'm gonna taste it. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you. All right, I come back when um some food comes when well, when sis come back to the table to place my order. I come back then, okay? I'll be back. Any questions? Um, yeah, let's do a few things. So let's do the bread. Um, I'm gonna do the bread, and then under mains, I'm gonna try the pork loin. Okay. But what temperature is that? Uh, we sous vide it and then we cook it to about a medium temperature. Okay, I need a little bit more than medium, like a like medium. Well? Me, please, yeah. yeah. Um, talk to me about the cobia creole, please. Uh, that's gonna be like a play on a shrimp and rice creole dish. Chef likes to play around and like take take pieces from everything. Um, so cobia, their main diet is shrimp. 
and then we'll have the red sauce that's made with dried shrimp in there. And then you've got the farro, which is going to be kind of like a nutty brown yeah. rice comparable to that. Mm -hmm. um, you got a nice filet. It's filleted for you, deboned. It's got a nice coriander sear on there, a crispy coriander sear. Okay, what about the fried chicken? That's my favorite dish, personally. Fried chicken thighs, we um, brine the chicken thighs. They're nice and juicy. We actually bread them in cornstarch and potato flour rather than regular wheat flour. So it's it nice and crispy, stays nice and crispy uh -huh. for you. And then the jalapeno mock shoe is going to be um, corn-based. You're gonna have corn as the main main point there, but then you're gonna have finely diced red and green bell peppers, and then the jalapenos are actually cooked into the coconut milk um, sauce that goes with that. So it's gonna give you kind of a sweetness that kind of tangos with the spice and the earthiness. Okay, the and then the collard greens down here on the side. Yeah, the collard greens, we cook them uh, with bacon. Super flavorful. We'll serve it with a nice um, house-made pepper vinaigrette. The vinegar, excuse me. Okay. Uh, okay. Chef right. makes in-house. All right, cool. So let's do the pork loin. Oh, it's coffee rubbed, right? Yes. That's fine. I hate coffee. Uh, it's, it doesn't. It honestly it's fine. just is it more of a flavor. It's it fine. Really, uh, so we'll do that. Let's also do the... If you had to choose between the cobia creole and the herb butter broiled redfish... Honestly, I would go for the redfish. That's been our number one seller. Okay, so redfish, I would go redfish. And then the chicken thighs. Let's do it. Uh, oh, and inside of collard greens, please. Did you want the collards to come alongside the bread? Whenever. Did you want that? Whenever it's ready. You want the bread first? You want everything else? Yeah, whenever you it's ready. Whatever, whatever you whatever you bring out. Let's do it. Yep. You got it. I'm gonna work care. around you. Oh, let me hold on to this actually. Yeah, Perfect. And then it, another drink menu too, please. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm thinking. Great service. Um, great service so far. Thank you. Um, but they, okay. <laughs> they're black and they're playing with flavors and stuff. And that's fine, right? I'm cool with that. But none of this sounds exciting. You can't tell me that lamb, you woke up one day and you were like, you know what I'm craving? I'm craving a little lamb burger helper, right? It's giving no. Um, coffee rub, grilled pork loin, okay. But it comes with five spice, turnip, sweet potato, apple hash. Right? Then there is a uh, herb butter broiled fish. Sounds great. Smoked turkey, smothered green beans, sounds great. Field peas, sounds great. But then you top it with a cherry miso sauce. Girl, why we gotta put cherry and miso together on top of this? You see what I'm saying? It's like you're trying too hard to be some, I almost feel like, let me tell you what I feel like. When white people, and I'm not racist, so shut up. But when white people try to affect um, what is naturally germane to black people, dialect, timber, um, you know, social bearing, when they try to affect, you know, the swag, the whatever it is, it's like, okay, we see you, but like we know what the deal is. It's like this, it's like a lot of stuff. And then none of it really goes together, right? Like, okay, let's say this is more of black people food with an Asian flair, right? So for example, I see bok choy salad, right? I see miso, I see five spice. Um, you know, I see the coconut milk. I see the Asian influences on the menu, but the first main is a lamb burger helper. What does she go with? Like, there's no theme here. This place is not thematic. It's just arbitrary. And that's the problem I'm having, so. And the cocktails are just all right. I don't like cocktails with champagne, so. We'll pick something else. Maybe this um, brass coupe with, or maybe a coconut coconut gin. Maybe we'll do a coconut Negroni. Can you put in a coconut Negroni for me, please? Thank you. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel, so. 
This is very weird, very out of the box, so I'll let you know how it tastes in a few minutes, all right? I'll be back. All right, I got some stuff in front of me. Let me show you. All right, this is the sheet pan biscuits, the Johnny Cake with the peach chutney and the butter. And this is my coconut somebody child. Coconut something or other. It's a coconut somebody. I'm not really sure, let me see. That's all right. Okay, come on with these sheep pan biscuits looking like this. They're looking like something, child. Let me see. <laughs> Girl, hope this is good. Let me see. By itself, it's horrible. By itself. But that's bad. I'm going to try it with the butter. Butter made it a little bit better. By itself, it's a one. With the butter, it's a two. And with the peach chutney, with the raisins. I don't know, y'all. Oh. She went down again, it's back to a one. <laughs> Amigui, no me gusta. These are doughy, just not done properly. Not excited about this at all. And I want you to see the color on my thing, my uh, pancake. It's not gold, dude. It's very dark skin. Let me take a picture of it for y'all be like, he lying. He lying, y'all. It's very dark skin. Let me see if I like it. Girl. I don't. It's a no for me. You can have it. You can have that. Girl, I don't want that. Girl, I'm, all them carbs, for them carbs not to be good. If I'm a drink, if I'm a eat carbs, the carbs gotta be amazing. That waffle at Waffle House, that blueberry waffle with that with that fake butter be amazing. This? No, thank you. And you're not telling me before y'all get in my comment section and tell me you're eating this and you're enjoying this. You're not telling me that. No girl, no girl. You are not the fuck telling me that, that you finna eat that and be like, this is the best thing I ever had. Girl, that chutney. I got a piece of bread in my stuff. That chutney is horrible. It's not good at all. It's not good. They could've gave me smuckers. Girl, that all fruit preserves taste better than that. You know the kind I'm talking about? In the long jar, they be skinny, and they say all fruit preserves. That one is better than that. That's not good. And this cocktail, she ain't that good either. I'ma drink it, cause she about $16, but. So far, we're off to a ravishing start. I'm looking around, wondering why nobody's in here. We're starting to figure it out, okay? I'm gonna sit here and wait till something else comes to the table. I'll call y'all back when something else mediocre comes to, no, I'm gonna have, good, I have high hopes. I have high hopes it's gonna be good, but girl, I've been down this road. See, here's the thing. I've been down this road so many times, like I know where this is gonna end up on the corner of nothing and nothing, right? I have high hopes and I hope I'm wrong, but this is probably restaurant review number, girl, four, five, six hundred. I ain't been wrong yet, all right? When something else comes to the table, I'll call you back. This drink may be half gone, as nasty as it is, but I'll call you back. Fred coming for you here. Cool. Uh, offer a pork one for you. Okay. A drop off a side of collars. Okay. A little house pepper vinegar you get with the collard greens. Okay. And here has your fried chicken thighs yes. over the mock shoe. Got it. And your redfish will be out in just a moment as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Let me see how this tastes. Smell like smells very international. Very the airport lounge in Paris. <laughs> Girl, very uh the sports box at the soccer game in Madrid. Okay, let me show you this food. This is the pork chop. Don't worry, we're gonna read up on it in a second. These are the collard greens. And this is the fried chicken. First of all, let's get to these portions. Oh, okay, here goes something else, hold on. Let me see what she's gonna bring over here. Here, cherry miso sauce on top for you. Turkey, some other green beans, and field beans. Perfect. Thank you. I'm good for now. Enjoy. Thank you. Let me get a, a picture of this girl. I'm not excited about that. <laughs> None of this. Cut my flash on. <laughs> See my look on my face. Okay, come on. Let's see what's going on. Okay, what is this? Girl, pork chop, what she got? What is this? Coffee rubbed, grilled pork loin. Girl, this $40. Girl, this $40. Girl, she, three bites of food. Girl, she, $11.75 per bite. She's a five spice turnip sweet potato apple hash and a red wine sauce. Are these grits? These are grits. Let me see. Oh, the grits ain't bad. <laughs> no, the grits not bad. They could have gave me one whole pork chop though. It's not too bad. The pork chop, the grits together with the sauce, not too bad. Let's try the apple compote. Sweet potato situation, let me see. Hey there, hey there. Oh God, hey there. Too flavorful, too much seasoning, overpowering. Get the grits in the pork chop without the stuff. She all right. Beautiful gowns, just too much going on. Okay. Too much going on. Now these some greens with whatever this is. Let me try the greens by themselves. See how good these are. Come on, chef. Come on, chef. Bacon, bacon braids. Let me see. Where they all right. They all right. What this is? I don't even know what this is. Somebody's vinegar. Let me see what the vinegar if they wake it up. Cause she's sleep right now. She took 40 milligrams of indica and trazodone and ambient. <laughs> she's a gag is you make better greens at home. See, that's the problem. See, you make better greens at home. These greens are very mediocre, very demure, not very mindful. The greens are like a two and a half out of five. The pork chop dish, the pork chop is a four out of five. The grits are four out of five. That compote apple stuff is a zero out of five. It's a composed dish, very two out of five. You can have it. You can eat mine, I don't want her. Whatever this is, it's warm. What is this? Cobia, right? Okay, this is the, oh, it's the red fish. Herb butter bro red fish. Smothered green peas. Smothered green beans. Where the green beans at, girl? Oh, it's one in here.
<laughs> you get two green beans. That's just cute. You got two. It's really one green bean cut in half. Look at that. Girl, the thing, the plate's so big, the fork keep falling in there. Look at them. Green bean one and green bean two. And you gotta squint to even see if it's a green bean. Let me see though, it might be good. Talk about these people food. Hold on, my fork done fell into my sauce so much. Cause the plate too big. So if you set the fork on the side of the plate, the fork dip on down like it's being baptized. Take me to the water. It's all right. I like the use of salt. Oh, fish ain't bad. Fish is cute. The fish is cute. I don't know if it's a composed dish though. It's giving me, we're playing too much with food. All right. It's like a three and a half out of five. It's not nasty, but I'm also not blown away. The redeeming qualities are the smother field peas. If you cook black eyed peas and stuff and cry the peas right, they're gonna be good. You lie for these green beans, there's two green beans in here. And the cherry miso, I don't taste cherry or miso at all. And something else besides this little Thai microgreen on top. I mean, it's all right. It certainly is not something that you are going to, you know how you wake up in the morning, Maybe it's just me, but the spirit hits you and you say, oh, you know what? I need me some video tacos today. Or, oh, I need, I got craving a lasagna or something. You wake up and you crave that. Honey, you do not wake up and crave this at all. Matter of fact, you be like, it's all right. I don't need that in my life. It could be better than this. It's all right. I'm not blowing away. We ain't gotta come on down here. Okay, let's try the corn with the chicken and the mock shoe. Try the corn first. It's got coconut and stuff in it. This pork chop, $40 for a half a pork chop. Um, what's that over there? The rare fish, $38 for two green beans. And two chicken thighs cost you $36. I bought six chicken thighs today at Publix for $9.83. Boneless and skinless. So far, you can wrap these two. You can wrap it all up to go, yep. yep. Thank you. Okay. The mock chew is all right. It's about the only thing that's halfway good. And I'm not blown away like, oh my God. It's decent. It's not amazing. The spice is cute, right? It's a white people, black owned restaurant. This is not a, look around. Let me show you what it's about. See what I mean? This ain't a place for us. Larvis, black pepper garlic powder with spine on the chicken. Girl, this spice you adding on here, this Burberry, this South African spice, or whatever the hell she is. Well, leave her in South Africa. I see all these black people in this kitchen. Ain't nobody tasting this food. No, I'm not happy with them. I don't like it. I don't want nothing else. It's not good. The chicken is not that 
it, the chicken is like half fried. It's not crispy. The flavor of the chicken is just not good. It's trying to be something that it's not. It has an imposter syndrome. Fried chicken should be fried chicken, all right? All that extra other stuff, a little this, a little that, fine, but you redoing it. It's like listening to Whitney Houston sing the Star Spangled Banner or I Will Always Love You and then the other comparisons. And yes, I do know, please, thank you. Um, and yes, I do know that Dolly Parton sang it first, but Whitney Houston perfected it, did she not? Okay, that is not good. And this is, girl, girl, this is not a restaurant for us. Let me get up out of here. And stop at Chick-fil-A for their clothes. It's 7.30, I get Chick-fil-A in an hour for their clothes at nine or 10 or whatever time they close. And give me a number one with cheese and a split or a skinny palm or something, girl, or a wrap with avocado lime uh, dressing or something, cause that's got more flavor than that chicken. All right, let's get a check. So I can go outside and tell you what I think. Although you could already put two and two together, can you not? Thank you. No, I'm stuffed. I, I am stuffed. I will take a check, please. Got it. Cause if the food ain't good, you know good and damn well the dessert's not gonna be good. Patriot the glass while you're waiting? Sure, what is it? We got a little Blanc de Blanc here. Blanc so, de Blanc. Yeah, it's a little tasty. We actually have seven different ones. Uh, yeah, I don't Have they given you the spiel already? I yeah, he's already, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. I'll keep you, uh, you got seven of them, so if you want to try any other ones. Got it, you know. thank you. Got the Blanc de Blanc don't taste no better than none of this other food, honey. Girl, give me black to black, cause blanc to blanc ain't it, child. I'm posting on Instagram and Facebook. Where am I? Girl, let me get up out of here. Let me go home. Order me some food. Perfect, thank you. All right. Check is in front of me, 182.93. Okay, the punch royale was 16, the bread basket was 12, the pork loin was 40, the fish was 38, the fried chicken thigh, you get two of them, girl, barely, for $36. Collard greens, 11, coconut Negroni was 15. All right, let's go. Let me give her this check, give her this credit card. I gotta find something to eat on the way to the house. Stop at Popeyes, I guess. Okay, it's Atlanta. So it's raining a little bit, you know. Listen, girls and boys, don't come here. Find you someplace else to go, girl. Stop at Chick-fil-A and pick you up a Chick-fil-A sandwich on your way. Don't you come here? Girl, this food is bad. This food is not good, okay? Girl, it's nothing I had that I was like, oh, I wanna eat that again. No, as a matter of fact, I don't wanna eat none of this no more. And I'm gonna put these bags, these bags can go in the trash on the side of somebody's road because I, TF, don't want to eat it. I ain't like nothing. I mean, it was just okay, but it ain't, it ain't no need for you to come back down here for just food that's just okay. You know what I'm saying? Girl, in true Atlanta fashion, girl, we gotta find someplace else. This ain't it. Sorry, folks. Not here. If you have an Atlanta area, go to Chick fil A, Popeyes on Camp Creek, church is on 166, Langford Parkway, Taco Mac, girl, don't come here, goodbye.